Now let's take a look at a couple of stocks on the move today. For that, let's welcome in Renita Young, Senior Markets Correspondent here on the network. Renita, thanks for joining the show. We're going to kick things off by talking actually about two losers. Discover Financial shares sinking on news that its CEO resigned after the close yesterday. Fill us in on this story and, and the stock reaction. One of the big things that's got this stock plummeting by 10% today is the fact that there was no specific rationale as to why the CEO decided to abruptly leave and it was as of yesterday so he's he's gone right now the company did appoint an interim CEO and president of the company also president of the bank who is one of the current directors but he just gets extra jobs added on to his title because he will keep his title as director for a while as well. He will continue those duties. Now, meanwhile, Evercore ISI cut its price target on the company due to this abrupt departure, and it placed the company on its tactical underperform list. Now, the analyst says that since the CEO departure was very abrupt and the change could be related to Discover's recent regulatory and risk oversight issues. That I'm sure we will hear a lot more about as this story develops. So Evercore ISI believes that the regulatory risk and then this uncertainty with management, also the expense implications could pressure Discover shares going forward. So that CEO shakeup definitely weighing on shares today, although we are see, mm -hmm. seeing weakness across the financials on that Fitch warning. So, uh, you know, I was just right. taking a look, J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, City, Goldman Sachs, seeing weakness across the board there. Another big mover today is C Limited. It's absolutely sinking following earnings. What has investors so upset about these results? Well, earnings and revenue came in worse than expected, and you can see that investors are not very happy about it at all. The outlook was not the best as well, but adjusted earnings came in below the consensus estimate at 54 cents a share. Revenue was also below consensus estimates at $3.1 billion, but total revenue is up 5.2% year over year. And total gross profit is up about 31% year over year. E-commerce revenue also up year over year. And digital financial, digital financial services revenue grew a staggering 53.4% year over year. But the core marketplace revenue is up by less than that. It's still up by a sizable amount, more than 37% year over year. However, the digital entertainment revenue plummeted 42% year over year. And bookings fell from last quarter, part of the bread and butter of the company. Quarterly active users, however, did manage to rise from a year ago. So truly a mixed report, but it was that revenue and earnings number that really has investors selling today. Yeah, also they said they're gonna boost investments in their core e-commerce business, which may eventually lead to losses. So could hit the bottom line. It seems like that's weighing on results as well. Shares off about 29% right now following those results. Renita, thanks so much for breaking it all down for us. Of course.